So the last video I got distracted by bacon, bacon distractions. I got a little off topic about uh, the masculine. I got on topic with bacon, but it was kind of on topic anyway because that whole idea, that macho idea is being sold as what, you know, being a man is. So, um, but we ask ourselves all the time, this is not, we tell ourselves, we know, this is not, there's something more to our, uh, to our existence, to our essence than what's being sold on the commercials on television and what we, what we get sold to our, our consciousness and our subconsciousness through the education system and through, uh, through our shallow, uh, shallow stories that we pass on through generations that only connect to personal, personal connections. They don't connect to the human space. So how are we going to have human, how are we going to have <clears throat> human nature or an idea of human nature if we, we're not, we're not feeling a space of our own connection to each other to even understand what human nature is, to, to care enough to go deep into that depth of, you know, saying, you know, what is this? What? Who are we? Where are we going? What is, what's happened to us? What's, what's, we were, uh, in other centuries, we were groups of people and we were this and we were that. What's happening today is just what's happening today. It's just like an example of what's, what's been stolen and conquered by destruction and war of, mainly peaceful people that's the majority of the people that are just like today it's the uh the, the masculine patriarchal society that's the origin of it the out of balance society to keep to first uh, enslave an entire planet you have to split the majority of consciousness in half so you can divide is divide and conquer so you split the mind you split the family you split the the uh The male and the and the female, the masculine and the feminine. You split, you split all of these stories. You split all this information right down the middle, and then work your way back to one side and and telling only one story of one side and one way and one one style, and then at the same time beating down the other side as if it either doesn't exist or uh, to eventually remove it. Um, completely uh, from a compassionate center space uh, of awareness at all and that's what's happening today to where we allow our women to be presented to us as such on the, on the television we allow our women to be um, treated the way they're treated because we allow this stuff to be on the television we allow we allow all these things to happen because we've given our power away and that's one of the main things about understanding where these these power structures come from and how deep they go is they're into our psyche of understanding and creating who we are it's deep within that space and once we get reconnected to our own essence, it's easy to realize the, the commercial consciousness that's being sold on a daily basis and how it was never meant to be for our benefit or be for anybody's benefit other than a select few people. And it's been going on for so long and we've endured for so long that it's time now to come and, and flip flip the script and anchor our roots into the the essence of our of our divine uh, reflection the essence of our divine feminine and masculine space and uh, find out what that is ask these questions to ourselves ask our own intuitive selves and uh, reconnect with the elders and reconnect with Reconnect with uh, 
the children that are coming out who are already activated in these compassionate spaces they already have these ideas of human nature they already express these these human natural human uh, ways and and anchor points and it really is abusive when you take it to an extreme space to allow those uh, those uh, those deep rooted human uh, human archetypes very very purely human archetypes I uh, just love and compassion and connection and sharing and and just being uh, on a regular basis rather than being stuck in time or being stuck in some kind of idea of of an experience just like the grandparents the ancestors uh, they've all been through this and they've seen these cycles over and over again enough times to to say well okay this has happened this has happened this is the same thing that's happened and this is how we got out of it before and this is how we're gonna get out of it again and we get caught up in the in between the midstream and the so-called mainstream um, storyline when that's not the only streams that are running there's or origination streams that are that are running there's a uh, there's already there's already uh, hyperdimensional connections that have been made with the people of the land, the people of the earth, and the people of the stars. We already had these these stories existing uh, all over the planet, and if we reconnect with that that is within us, these essences essence of uh, the heart of a masculine ref reflection and the heart of a feminine reflection uh, they will come naturally and we won't that's the main thing is to remove the labels remove the labels from our uh, our regular day to days and it start experiencing the essence, the, the, the space of the moment, the, the, the just beingness in that place with each other. And the labels come with some kind of judgment. Usually the majority of the, 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 the density that is within labels is judgment. And we also use labels to understand a reality or understand differences uh, but once once we label them we we gotta link them we can't just label them and leave them we gotta label them and then link them connect them to their source their essence and then once that is done we can that's how we teach ourselves we we understand oh this is connected to this and and that is this and this is just another example of this our foundation our roots uh, have been buried over they've been built over by uh, streets and uh, education systems and malls and um, airports and you know the booming nature of a patriarchal out of balance society of illusion and we've been disconnected from the earth we've been disconnected from each other um, <clears throat> and right now we're reconnecting it so there is no there's no speed uh, other than the one that is individual to each of us we're doing it on our own and together this is what extra dimension extra dimensions are all about is the singularity in motion in in the moment all together so in order for us to expand into that space we must first know what's 
what's singular about this planet. Before we start going into singularities of anything else, what is singular about the human human nature? What is singular about the human story? Not history, but the human story. What is singular about about love? What is singular about compassion? What is singular about um, creation? And what is singular about destruction? What is what is what, what are all these things that exist within these subtopics not just the topic but the but the subtopics are also very important if we focus see that's the main thing about uh about the television and the so-called news even other news they 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 have a focus they have a yeah, I lost it because I was going too too far ahead into the. <sighs> we get out of, we get knocked out of uh, out of balance. We get knocked out of our frequency uh, here and there, here's and there's. Oh, and that's the that that's what it was. The uh, when we do get knocked out, that becomes the normal frequency, and then that frequency gets shrunken and and uh, fed, and then that frequency gets shrunken and fed and shrunk until we have a very generic idea of interaction, a very generic. Uh, identity of our of connection of ourselves we have a very generic understanding of what intelligence is a very generic um, idea of uh, our story and a very generic idea of empowerment and the all these very general these these this box society becomes very general and we lose our essence of uh, empowerment and that's that's the main thing confusion shrinking time uh, to shrink down and desensitize turn an empowered uh, an, an empowered being into a, a submissive obedient uh, worker bee uh, who is scared beyond measure scared out of totally caught up in the in the in the word world of the idol the idolizing of the ego and the idolizing of uh, the feminine to hide the secret idolizing of the male the phallic symbol that's everywhere oh now it goes straight down look at that wow I haven't looked at this book in a while but as soon as I say phallic it, can I see that? Oh, maybe it was on here. So yeah, the phallic symbol is the worshiping of the 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 patriarchal society. Not to say that we're supposed to go to a, any other matriarchal society, any, but understanding what these these uh, balances mean, both externally and internally, and finding out what it is that's available for us to to live to live as as a culture, as a community, from what our ancestors have already done, not forgetting that. Because if we forget that, we could be sold into just like, just like the Bible was sold across the planet. You could be sold into any old thing. And, and I say this pretty much every day as far as technology, the mainstream, um, the mainstream culture, everything that is being sold, it, uh, that connects to the, the sort of psyche of dependency to uh, a technological format, that's another version of church. That's another version of religion. It's just a techno religion. So that's, uh, I didn't speak on that in the other 
the video I wanted to get to. But there's uh, HBO is very uh, into. They have a whole documentary in, on shutting down Scientology. So this is this is an idea where they're creating this split. Oh, I ain't got a minute. They're creating this split right now, and they gotta throw some people under the bus. And then there's gonna so the mainstream Fox News, all that stuff is getting thrown under the bus. They're gonna ball up Scientology with it. It's gonna get balled up with all the other half split Hollywood in half, and have good Hollywood and bad Hollywood, and you know create whatever good get superheroes out of that. Bring that in. Uh, that's gonna be the whole transhumanism stuff, and then the bad people are just gonna go and get forgotten about just like the regular news and some prosecuted maybe here and there if I don't know what it but the trending right now is is of that the splittings on in in in, in public and so if we see the scenes behind the scenes and we'll be able to understand what's going on both externally and internally and it all has to do with our own empowerment of our own masculine and feminine feminine uh, I'll get back into that later <laughs>